Let's go ahead and create a database now. We're going to create a very simple database application, a phone book application. So that's what we're going to name our new database. Here I am in my web browser and I've gone to localhost slash phpMyAdmin and it gives me my phpMyAdmin tool that's built into the free PHP triad that we looked at in the second lesson of this chapter. And as you can see, it presents me with a graphic user interface for administering my MySQL database. This is the quickest, easiest way to create databases. So I'm going to go ahead and type into the Create New Database field, Phone Book, and then I'm going to press the Create button. Now we need to create a table within our Phone Book database. So in the Create New Table area here, I'm going to type in a name for our new table. I'll just call it Data and how many fields I want to put. I'm just going to put two uh, because I want to keep this very simple so we don't get bogged down in the details of the database and we can focus on the process. So data and two and I'm going to press go. Now that create this is going to create a table within that phone book app, uh, database as you can see here on the left the phone book database has already been created and we need to name our fields here so I'm going to call them name and number then we need to set a column type. Now, if you want to outline for yourself what these different options are, go ahead and look in your documentation here by clicking on this link, or go online to the internet and check out MySQL uh, column types, and you'll immediately find a lot of different information on it. It's quite easy to learn. It takes you maybe a few minutes to sit down and read up on these. These column types come in families, so it's a lot easier to learn than it looks like. There's just a few different types, and then they vary in their limits. But at any rate, for now we're just going to select a text, or we'll make that a tiny text for the name, and we will select this varchar option for the uh, number field, and we're going to go ahead and type in a length of 60 here. So basically that allows us to type in a different number for home and office and so forth, and basically it allows us to enter uh, letters or numbers. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click the unique box next to the number column here and that's going to create uh, an index for that column and then I'm going to press save. Okay here we go. As you can see on the left we've got our database phone book with our table data inside it and our main screen displays it. Now our database is created and we can actually go ahead and insert information if we like by clicking on this insert link. So I'm going to click on that and give you an example. I could just go ahead and type in John Smith into the name value and then for a number let's say office 403-567-9821 and then I can press the go button and that number is stored in our database. I can click the browse link here and go ahead and access that information now. So you can see it's stored in our database and we can use that information now any way we like. I can even go ahead and delete it just by clicking this delete link. There we go, our database is empty again. So that's how simple it is to create a database. As you can see, it takes no time at all. It's a quick, painless process. And um, basically, there's, uh, I would say, a lot of people think it's probably hard to create databases, but now you can see it's a, it's a really super easy process to go through. And although it might look a little bit complicated, once you get in there and actually create your first database, you'll find that it's, it's very easy to follow along and sort of get some traction with MySQL. Anyhow, that's our database. Now let's go ahead to the next lesson and take a look at how we can start using this database in an actual application.